I'm James Fairhead at the Department of Anthropology here at Sussex and my work's on dark earth soils which are human-made soils which have been transformed and made very fertile which people haven't really realised the potential for both for farming and for climate change abatement. There's a great deal of concern at the moment in Africa in general about soil fertility. It's said that there's a soil fertility crisis and the most common solution is usually to propose chemical fertilisers. Yet in many places farmers can't afford them and it's doubtful that they'll be suitable for some of the complex ecologies that we're seeing in the forest zone. The interest in dark earths originally came from the Amazon where they're very deeply charcoal enriched black soils that underlie places where much higher Amerindian populations were thought to have lived. Oh, these soils are remarkable. They are really archaeological soils. They're the sites of former settlements, places where people have lived for decades, hundreds of years, even thousands of years. And it's the way that people are taking advantage of those uh, soils that ancestors have made in modern farming practices that's at the heart of our current research. At the moment, these soils haven't been noticed at all, despite a century of soil science on the continent. So it's a tremendous opportunity. Farmers are telling us and showing us that these are the most fertile, most productive soils that they have on their territories. So garden centres in the capital cities in Guinea and in Ghana and in Sierra Leone often have these dark earths for sale to urban consumers. This research is potentially quite important because the idea that this technology might be able to be mimicked and therefore used in, 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 at a larger scale, perhaps adapted, that is the, the area in which this research is, is contributing to. Um, there are a lot of soil scientists looking at the importance of biochar uh, additions to soils as a soil conditioner who don't realise that these kinds of soils are already present on the continent. Sussex is a particularly good place for this kind of activity. It's very open to interdisciplinary study, it's very open to international collaborations and very supportive of developing the kinds of partnership and close partnership with, with African researchers which has been so essential to the work as it's unfolded. One of the really exciting things about this project is the way it's bringing together researchers um, and development professionals across disciplines. So as anthropologists, we're collaborating with soil scientists, with archaeologists, with historians, with botanists, and also with people at the front end in the business world and in the NGO world of trying to develop practical techniques for farmers. We hope that research here at Sussex will enable other researchers to build on the insights from these dark earth soils to help improve African soil fertility. But second, there's a climate change dimension, that these soils uh, are so fertile because of their carbon content means that we can start to, to think about ways of uh, linking up with global climate change agendas in a way that is supportive of African uh, farming.